Welcome back, sculptors. Today we are talking about the fill tool. Not your Uncle Phil, but the fill tool. F I L L. Let's get started. Open up your Blender and hit New File General. And let's go ahead and save it. Just call it fill and click on your monkey and go to your mat caps and do any color mat cap you want. It is totally up to you. Next, we're going to add what we always do, the multi-resolution and subdivide that bad boy by five just to give us some geometry so we can actually do some sculpting today. Now we'll just flip over into sculpting mode with control tab down and let's get our fill tool. So the fill tool, when you enable it, everyone go ahead and click on your fill brush there. Notice you've got your radius. The strength is all the way up and it defaults to the positive direction. And under our tools, um, everything's pretty much the same. We've got our auto smooth. I would, you know, maybe crank that up a little bit if you want. And we also have area radius, which is new, and invert to scrape, which we'll talk about later. But let's go ahead and do some filling. So essentially what this will do, the fill brush will fill in spaces. So what I want you to do is fill in the area above, or I guess I should say behind Suzanne's eyebrows here. So watch what happens when we get up in here. So what this brush is doing is looking to the sides of your brush and trying to fill in that gap. So just go ahead and click and drag and notice it's filling it in almost like we're putting like a little river there or something. So it's looking to the sides and filling it in. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger and just fill it in. So there we go. We filled it in, hold shift and smooth it out. Look at there. Within a few seconds, we have filled in that eyebrow cavity, super easy, super quick. And Blender kind of did a lot of the thinking for us to kind of, you know, merge those two areas together. So for this lesson, just go ahead and find any little crack or crevice <laughs> that you can find and just start filling it in. So just, you know, maybe in there. Oh, look, I filled in the nose there. Boop, boop, boop. And it's really cool. It's, I really like how Blender, you know, kind of interpolates what you're trying to do and then fills it in for you. So maybe even on the face here, maybe zoom out. I'm just trying to fill in this area. You know, I don't want it all like that. Just want it nice and filled in. You can do the same thing for the ear here. You know, just fill it in. And you can see it's really adaptive in the way it's thinking. And then you just smooth it out. So looky there. We just filled in that. So just look around. And the eyes may be a little tricky because the eyes are you know technically two different layers but it looks like it's still trying to figure it out but you know they're they're actually separate so they're not going to actually merge um, but you could do the mouth you know if we wanted to fill in the mouth here you could just fill in the mouth looky there smooth it out we've just filled in the mouth within a few clicks so you know go to town play with it it's fun so the area radius that's going to be it's kind of opposite so this is the area on the sides of the brush that Blender is looking for to fill in the gap. So the higher you in, you crank that up, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's going to look, it's going to be not as intense as the, the other ones that, you know, the way we were doing it. So really the lower that is, you know, the more it's really going to fill in that gap. So uh, that's what that does. Uh, I would just leave it at zero unless you want to play around with that. Um, and then invert to scrape. So what that's saying is when we hold control, it's going to act like the scrape tool, which is what we're going to talk about in the next lesson. But so go ahead and hold control and, you know, just kind of click on where you are. Notice it's it's just scraping the, um, the material away, kind of doing the opposite of fill. And then if you have this unchecked and hold control, it does something different. So now when we hold control, it's not scraping as intensely, you know, as the scrape tool, but it is decreasing the amount of fill. So depending on, you know, what you're trying to do, that's what that is going to do. Uh, by default, it's just going to stay on invert to scrape. So essentially you're just flip flopping from the fill to the scrape tool with your control, you know, the opposite. So really it's just giving you different, two different choices for uh, when you hold control is all that that little checkbox is doing. But I would just keep it checked and keep your area radius down and you'll be good going to funky town, just filling and scraping. So feel free to keep on filling Suzanne up and, you know, filling up different places around her face and see what you can make and just get comfortable 
with the fill tool because it can come in very, very handy when trying to do things. So we've already kind of talked about the scrape tool, but let's go into the actual brush um, in the next lesson.